if there's one thing that I really, really love, it's rum. Collecting rum, everything about rum. If there's one thing I love a little bit more than rum, it's tiki cocktails. Here are five of the best. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, today we're looking at five of the best tiki cocktails on the planet right now. In order to get into tiki, I use tiki as my excuse to collect rum. I also use tiki as my excuse to collect tiki mugs. So, if you like tiki mugs, which actually aren't part of the original tiki design, uh, however, they're really cool and they became part of the, the tiki pop culture, you can always look towards rums. There are tons of different rums. We have an entire video all about different styles of rum that you should watch in order to really appreciate tiki. Here's just a sampling of some of the rums to create a good tiki cocktail. So my goal here is to aggregate five of the top, some of the best cocktails in the tiki realm that don't require you to get really crazy, but there is a little bit of insanity. One of the first cocktails in our list was created in 1944 by a gentleman by the name of Trader Vic. Trader Vic invented, and has been argued over many, many years, the Mai Tai. The Mai Tai, by Trader Vic's original definition, is one ounce of fresh lime juice, a half ounce of orange curacao, a quarter ounce of orgeat, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, and then one ounce of dark Jamaican rum, and one ounce of amber martinique rum. Amber martinique rum is special. It's from Martinique. It's got a little more greeny, agricole flavor. Again, watch our video on, on rum styles. If you cannot or do not want to buy a bottle of Martinique rum, in this case, De Paz, and a bottle of, of dark Jamaican rum. If you can find yourselves or special order at your local liquor store, Denizen's Merchant Reserve, put two ounces of this in the recipe instead, and you're there. Seriously, guys, this, this right here, this is the rum you want. They're not sponsoring this video. Nobody's sponsoring this video. I do this because I have a passion. The next recipe, one of the only trademark recipes outside of the dark and stormy that you'll probably find anywhere, menus, the internet, books, is the painkiller, or Pooser's painkiller. Pooser's painkiller has two ounces of Pooser's rum. Hold on. This is a light here. This is a British Navy rum. Wicked awesome. No, like, I mean seriously awesome. Like, wicked, wicked, wicked awesome. It's not easy to get uh, a good British Navy rum, so I like to keep myself stocked up, you know, just in case. Could have a tornado or something. I don't know. So two ounces of Pooser's Navy rum, four ounces of pineapple juice, one ounce of orange juice, and one ounce of cream of coconut. Create a little nutmeg, maybe a little pineapple wedge, especially the nutmeg is awesome. And you're good to go. Ironically, that's the only cocktail in this list that uses cream of coconut. However, if you've ever heard of a pina colada, you're gonna be able to make it by the time you're done this. Next, pieces of eight. Three quarters ounce of lime juice, three quarters ounce of lemon juice, so you've got a nice blend of a sour. One and a half ounces of B.G. Reynolds passion fruit syrup, or whatever passion fruit syrup you truly enjoy. One and a half ounces of light virgin island rum. So, what's a light virgin island rum? Well, Pusser's is bottled by Pusser's Rum Limited, British Virgin Island. Let's go back to that again. No, they're not sponsoring. Use yourself the product you bought for the painkiller, and you've got yourself, you didn't have to buy another bottle. Of course you can. You can use any of these if you really want to. BG Reynolds Passion Fruit Syrup looks like this. You can get it at awesomedrinks.com. I sell it, that's my store. You can buy it anywhere you want if you don't like me. I don't care. Well, I do, but. Next, Mai Kai's Barrel of Rum. I put it in the Amontillado mug that is also available at the same place you can get this. But this is two ounces of a bunch of stuff. Two ounces of Puerto Rican rum, two ounces of dark Jamaican rum, two ounces of passion fruit syrup, two ounces of lime juice, two ounces of orange juice, two ounces of grapefruit juice, a teaspoon of honey syrup, six dashes of Angostura bitters and a splash of club soda. What? Yes, honey syrup is honey with water mixed, one to one. If you want your own that you could just use on demand, again, same place you get this cool passion fruit syrup, Hudson and Lee makes one, it's called Honey Simple Syrup. Stuff's fantastic. So if you don't want to deal with honey and try to get it to turn into, uh, get it soft and, and mixed with the water and integrated properly, there's a product solution for you. In this case, a lot of these rums you could probably substitute as needed. You might not need a Puerto Rican rum. This is a gold Puerto Rican rum. I'd use it for a light Puerto Rican rum because if you've watched our video on rum ages, you'll see that it doesn't mean anything. From a Jamaican rum, you can always look at Mizan XO. Yoga style. 
we're going to go with the zombie. This is a 1950s recipe by Don Beach. You have to have, in a top five, you're going to need to have a Don Beach and a Trader Vic together in an episode. Otherwise, the world explodes. The zombie, 1950 style, there are many different zombies. The 1950 style is one ounce of fresh lime juice, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, one ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of passion fruit syrup, one ounce of light Puerto Rican rum, one ounce of gold Puerto Rican rum, one ounce of 151 overproof rum, Demerara style, one teaspoon of brown sugar, and a dash of Angostura bitters. So for your 151 overproof, I would stay away from Bacardi because it's not a Demerara. What is a Demerara, if you can get it, I believe it's coming back, is, uh, that's not it, is Lemon Heart 151. That has been used traditionally in tons, but tons, mega butt tons of overproof Demerara rum tiki recipes. Hamilton 151 is another overproof rum uh, from the Demerara River. So if you're looking for Demerara, those are two options you can go with. You can Google to find other ones. If El Dorado has an overproof, you can use that as well, because that's going to be a Demerara rum. Then you have this light and gold uh, Puerto Rican rum. Pick a light and a slightly aged, or just do two ounces of gold if that's all you have. And two ounces of light if that's all you have. The recipe is going to be fantastic. This is probably a little scary. The zombie, it's kind of like the, the Long Island iced tea of tiki. Most of these recipes, use regular ice or crushed ice. Stick them in a shaker. Shake that sucker up, strain it into either a cocktail glass or a tiki mug, depending on your enthusiast level, and you're good to go. I didn't supply any real recipes that required blending. You could do top blended tiki cocktail recipes and have an entire separate episode. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. If you really love us and want a virtual hug, go to patreon.com slash cmc and help donate to the show. We're teaching you how to drink. So you want to support the show, but you can't all afford the click that Patreon link over here and support us via donations. Well, did you know watch time is the biggest factor in YouTube? That means if you watch one of the videos below here, you'll actually increase the view time credits for the video you're watching right now. That's pretty cool, right? So watch more videos.